So I had this idea. I saw on Pinterest of putting a chicken on a canvas. And I use chicken with some egg in it. And you use um, a whole bunch of old scrap paper. So I thought I would do that today. Like to put wax or freezer paper, butcher's paper, whatever you want to call it, um, down before I start a new project. It's hard to put down because it's so formed in that old roll. So, we'll tame this paper yet and we'll get started. What I did was I found a um, free printable temp template of a chicken because when it comes to drawing I'm not that accomplished yet. I'll start to try to teach myself but right now. So this is what I found. I found this chicken and um, I enlarged him a little bit and I cut him out and then I'm gonna um, trace him onto some bigger white paper. I want to put it on this 11 by 14 canvas and I'm going to trace him on some um, just plain thick white paper. Then I can start um, making a template for him and then putting um, make a template for him and then put some scrap paper under him and then cut out the scrap paper use the template again and then spray around it and then put the paper over the top but I'll show you that whole thing a little bit so what you're going to need is you're going to need some Mod Podge or um, American decoupage whatever you want to use I put my Mod Podge in a baker's bottle um, some old scrap paper that you don't from your stash and brushes and scissors so I'll be back when I have this started. Alright I'm back and I've decided on what papers I'm going to use and um, so excuse me I'm gonna um kind of placed it where I think I want them, but you know, when I start putting them back on, we'll see what happens. So let's start putting our Mod Podge on the underneath, just right on top of the canvas. Has some brown something on it, and I do not want that. Oh dear. fits there. Hmm, this does not want to stay down. Stay down.
Okay, so you get the general idea of what I'm doing. <clears throat> so I'll stop now and then be back. All right, so far I have put all my paper down, as you can see. Um, I've cut out a template of some eggs, and so I'm going to lay those down because I need to use those as a mask. I also found at an antique mall these really cool grade A raw milk, kind of dairyish, um, and dairyish items on here, so I put those on there. Uh, I found some corrugated paper that uses a good, good texture. I've also got this really cool drywall tape stuff that's got some great texture in it, so I put some of those down. Um, so I'm going to spray around or paint around this chicken. I also put some alcohol inks just kind of where I think the chicken's going to be to give it a little bit more color. I think my chicken's probably going to go right about there. Let's see, and then I'll put the eggs underneath her. Uh, and then I'll color around her too. So I'm going to mask her. I think I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to put her on there right now. Um, and then I'm going to throw some of the eggs down here. I've got to go upstairs and get my gloves so that when I spray, use my sprays, um, I won't get spray all over my hands because I'm really not crazy about that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, no, it's a little upside down. So I just, when I put the alcohol inks on, I just kind of held them up and then let them drip down. You can see that. Oh, she really wants to stick there. Uh oh. Oh, it's all that Mod Podge isn't there yet. So, anyway, I just let it kind of drip down. Um, and then I'm going to use some sprays and some paints. I think sprays will let this underneath show up, and then I'll probably paint the this, I think, an orangey color. I don't know what I want. So um, anyway, that's what I've got so far. And I'll come back after I have that, my rubber gloves. <laughs> Alright, so now I've gotten my gloves. Because I'm going to use my sprays and my hands will get very dirty from that. So um, I'm still not sure how I'm going to do these. I think I'll get a dabber out and, well, I don't know, because I'm going to spray down, so they might already. All right, well, I'm just going to hold my breath and go. So I think my chicken looks good there. And then I'm going to put down my eggs underneath her. Just randomly place them around her. Okay. So now I think I'm going to choose some dilutions these these some pink some uh, cherry pie some funky fuchsia oh what else do I have here pure sunshine cut grass and after midnight I think this after midnight might be a good choice I've also got some sweetened orange here um, oh goodness hi Kelvin say hi I say hi to everybody I cannot because I'm going to spray some stuff so you cannot come up here right now yeah it will not be good for the kitty get down goodbye what else do I have of hers? I've got some fresh lime, dream martini, 
Um, okay, and then I've got some Perfect Pearls mists in there and a couple other Mr. Hueys. So I think um, I'm going to get a clean brush out. <laughs> One that doesn't have Mod Podge on it, I guess. And, oh, this is a nice soft brush, so I can kind of blend here. All right. I blew it. I did a little heat gun on it to, um, oh, dry everything up. What I think I'm going to do is remind myself what these colors look like, so I think I'm going to spray onto some paper. Yep, I like that. So that is Dirty Martini. And this is Camp So Teal. like that. And I think I'm going to use this after midnight and then I'll probably um, use a little bit of this squeezed orange on the outsides of it. So these are the four colors I'm going to use. These are going to go back in here. You. I think I'm afraid. This is the first time I've done this, so I'm a little afraid to do it, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Work out just fine. I'm doing it upside down to me so that you can see it a little bit more easily. So let's start with the outsides. And does she look centered on there? Does she look a little so let's just start on the outside, get the sides well here. water to rinse this off. Get that orange off that brush as much as I can. All right, now I'm going to, I think I'll put the green down first around the eggs. I'm probably going to have to like hold the sides down so that it gets on there, right? This is why I wear the gloves, <laughs> because otherwise I would have it all over my hands. I have done that. People have said, what, what are you doing that your hands are all dirty? <laughs> so anyway, I got some rubber gloves. There. So there's the green. And we'll put the midnight on here. Oh darn it. And I have to spray it far away so that they oh, end up okay. It wants to stick to my fingers too. brush. I want you to be able to see this. Kind of blend things under her. Blend it around her. Actually, 
Actually, I think I'm okay with this. Um, I don't think I've used the teal yet, so I may do a little teal up here. And I think she's done. I think this color is good. Maybe we'll hold it up so some things drip a little bit. Let's see, oh, the egg's gonna come off. That's all right. Let things dry and drip. Dripping a little bit. Okay. All right. Let's take the eggs off. Need my tweezers. And I want to get a baby wipe for that or my water and a paper towel because I want to be able to see this little milk thing. Okay. Here's the chicken. Come here. There's the chicken. What do you think? I think it came out kind of cool. I think I might want to um, I think I might want to put a little bit of I guess I'll try some uh, Alcohol inks. I was gonna do some. Let's see, here's some gold alcohol inks. Let's see what we got there, huh? down. Sorry, I know it's, you can't see. I kind of like it. You know how they say less is more? Well, sometimes I don't think less is more. Um, what mixed media? More. Sometimes better. Okay. What does that look like? I like that. All right. Uh, I think that's her. New dryer. And then I'll take a picture. And then... I'm going to put her on my Facebook page and my Pinterest and see what people think, but I like it. Kind of looking at this upside down in the camera, I'm feeling like I need some more blue in her because that just blue strip is like running down there. I feel like we need some more blue somewhere. Yeah, that's better, huh? All right, now, should I put any words on her? Should I put any words on her? I don't know what I would say. It's pretty... Um, I think I'll do the sides, maybe. Uh, let's see. I will do the sides in... What color? Black. Oops. I think I'll get my black dabber out. You know, the Adirondack black dabber. I think I'll just do the size in black.
and she'll be done. So you don't really have to watch all of this. So you're just going to do the sides. I don't know if it's going to add any more or not. Oh, Kelly, you just texted me, so it looks like, uh, it looks like, oh, okay, looks like a cute text, something she made, I can't wait to look at it, as soon as I'm done with this, and I think this is going to work with me tomorrow, too, because I took today off from work, I had some pep time and personal time coming, so... It's almost the end of the school year, so I took the day off today. Everybody needs a little bit of R&R &R now and then. All right. Ta-da! I hope you like it. I like it. Oh, look at See why I wear gloves? My hands would have been full of it. And now, they're not. Clean hands. Okay. Thanks for watching. Oops, no way. All right, I just wanted to show you um, really the finished product because I did outline her in white and uh, outline the eggs as well, and I think that really made her pop. Um, I may put some words here. If I decide to, I'll add it to the video. But anyway, I wanted to show you that I outlined the chicken, and I think it looks better.